In this session, we're going to look at the Bridgeways Management Pack for VMware ESX. This Management Pack is built to monitor your ESX and ESXi based environments with full support for VI3, 3.5, and vSphere. The goals of the Management Pack are to help administrators with the problems of keeping the environment available and healthy, as well as tackling the issue of capacity management. Ensuring that the resources being allocated to the virtual layer are not being over or underutilized is very important to ensuring you are getting the most out of your virtual infrastructure. In order to monitor VMware, we use a service that maintains a persistent connection to vCenter or standalone host through the VI API. This is done because SCOM agents are stateless, which can result in many connects and disconnects from the VAPI, and this leads to a large burst of data flowing over the network. The service itself lives on an agent-managed server or directly on a management server. The data collection is fully scalable for large environments through filtering, which allows you to use multiple collectors connected to a single vCenter or several vCenters and scope the data collected to specific clusters or hosts. The Mesh Pack is designed to give you both high and low level views in the environment. By monitoring the data center, the clusters, the individual hosts, and the virtual machines, you're able to see what is going on within your environment at any given time. By providing additional details around the resource pools and the data stores, you can see how the resources are being allocated and whether or not they are becoming strained handling the load they are under. Looking at the health model for a data center, health is monitored through availability, configuration, and performance metrics giving you a complete view in the environment and highlighting any issues that may have been detected. For example, looking at a host availability, we can see that one of the drives has become degraded. Looking at configuration, we can see that there are several virtual machines that have VMware tools that needs to be updated. Moving on to performance, we can see that we have virtual machines where the guest disk is overused, as well as one virtual machine where the balloon driver is running a little too hot. For each monitor, we have detailed knowledge base articles that describe what the monitor is, why it would be alarming, and to how it go about fixing the errors being reported. This KB is crucial to effective triaging of issues because whether you are a VMware expert or not, the knowledge base helps you determine where to send the issue for further investigation. Another important feature of our monitors is the ability to override. Virtual environments tend to follow many different service level agreements. Different hosts and clusters have different requirements placed upon them by the workloads they are running. Utilizing overrides you can customize the alerts to ensure that those service levels are being monitored and you can control down to the level of specifying how many samples to use for comparisons. Do you need to have 90% CPU usage over a single sample? Or do you want to average 90% CPU usage over three samples before an alert is raised? Controlling alert spam is something that is very important when monitoring the hypervisor due to the size of the virtual environments. Looking at the performance side of things, performance is broken down by components. You can see performance metrics around the clusters, the hosts, and the resource pools. Providing you the information is crucial to being able to see how your resources are being utilized. Using the resource pool memory capacity as an example, we're able to see information around exactly how the memory is being consumed in this resource pool. You can see how much memory has been given out to virtual machines with this pool memory consumed, as well as how much of that memory is actively being used by the virtual machines associated with the pool. This gives you a very good indicator of whether or not you can bring additional VMs up within this resource pool. In our case here, we have one resource pool with 50 gigabytes of memory allocated, but only 10 gigs, which is actually being used. Looking at the performance metrics around the virtual machines themselves, we can track things like the DRS rating, which is telling us whether or not there's virtual machines having troubles finding homes. If the DRS rating is constantly spiking up into the three and four star level, then you know you have a virtual machine that's having a hard time finding a, a host machine that can handle its resource load. Additionally, we can look at the memory consumption of the individual virtual machines. 
Find out whether there's virtual machines that have large balloon driver usages or a lot of memory being swapped out. More important to the swap out is whether or not it's constantly being swapped in and out of the virtual machine telling us that we're having memory contention issues. Another common metric that will be looked for with virtual machines is of course CPU usage. With the management pack we do calculations that vCenter does not do. Using CPU ready time as an example, in vCenter this is reported as a raw value. With the management pack we go and convert that to the percentage value that you need in order to be able to properly look at the CPU ready time to know whether or not you're having CPU contention. The management pack also comes with pre-generated reports that you can use in addition to the generic reporting provided by Operations Manager. Using the data store summary report as an example, you can get a report that shows you how many hosts are using the data store and how much of the underlying capacity is available at this time. The Bridgeways Managed Pack for VMware is a necessary tool when it comes to monitoring and maintaining your virtual environment. Without it, you are limited to the monitoring provided by vCenter directly, which means you are making calculations like CPU ready time on the side. You don't get the reporting that Operations Manager supplies, and you miss out on the ability to use additional functionality like the service level objectives that help you to track and alert when service levels are dropping below acceptable thresholds. With the Manager Pack, you can be certain that you have the tools you need to get the most out of your investment in virtualization.